Hi, cozy friends. First, I just want to say thank you for 100K. Thank you for 100K. Oh my gosh. I have just so much to say. I'll probably be blabbing more in a future vlog, but just like from the bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you, thank you for everyone that's here. 100,000 of the best people in this planet. It means more to me than you know, and I cannot wait to put my little plaque up on the wall. Moving on to the point of the video. I am so excited to share some of my favorite home items. I'm talking about big to small home items that make your home super cozy. Home items I could not live without. And I want this to be both a list that makes you go, I need to get that ASAP. I need to get that right now. And a list that you can save, you can bookmark, you can save for later knowing that, you know, this isn't necessarily a list of like, buy this now, you have to have these. It's just a list of things I genuinely love and feel like would make a space really nice and are worth it. And so maybe it's something just to say for the future just to think about for the future of when you can get to the point of being able to buy these things you know none of this is stuff that i got in a week okay it took me like two years at this place to buy some of these things so anyways the first is a heavy hitter. I think it's actually the heaviest hitter on this list, possibly. My TV, the Samsung The Frame. This is something I get asked about almost every video I post where it's in it. Someone the other day commented like, everybody's talking about XYZ in the video, but I've been Googling how to make TV look like frame <laughs> this whole time. And that's exactly how I felt when I saw it for the first time. I was like, how is, what is that? Is that a TV? Is it a frame? What is it? Listen, y'all. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of this TV, but it is a TV that is anti-glare and it has a specific kind of like dim setting to it that you can adjust, essentially like a screensaver. It makes it look as if it's a painting on your wall. And then you can customize the frame around it that you snap onto the TV. So you can customize it to look like ornate gold frame, or I just have kind of like a simple wood one. They have like simple white, simple black. It's so nice, y'all. It looks, it genuinely, genuinely looks like just an actual picture frame. So we, in our house, House, we made a gallery wall out of it in the morning you're walking by you're ready to get cozy you're ready to start your day and you know maybe turn on a little youtube to get you started while you eat breakfast and there's this huge black box i don't know y'all it just it ruins the vibes it sets the vibes off <laughs> wrong in my opinion you turn off the tv the the art comes up it's not that you like put on a screensaver or anything like that it's when it's off art is on. We change the art all the time to like fit different moods. The thing is, my disclaimer, and I think any like tech nerd would tell you this, technically for the specs, you could get a way, for the specs and the price, you could get a way better TV. Better in terms of OLED, QLED, whatever LEDs they have these days. Like just consider that if specs are important to you. For me, aesthetics, what I'm looking at, what my eyes have to see every day when I walk by, that is what's important to me and that I will pay a pretty penny for. I did save up for it. I did wait till Black Friday. It's just the best. It's the best and it makes your home so much cozier, so much cozier. Next is my doorstop. It's felted, it's handmade. I just think it's the cutest thing ever and it's heavy, like it is heavy. If you need a doorstop, if you have cats and you're trying to keep a cat out of an area, doorstop and the cat can open the door, doorstop. If you just like to keep your door open, you know, in the summertime, doorstop. If you're gonna get a doorstop, get one that is Cute, a cute little mushroom. It's adorable. I love supporting a small business. Some of these things on this list are gonna be from small businesses because I just think the coolest things come from small businesses. Like the most creative, cool things come from small businesses. Exhibit A, okay? I don't even use this as a doorstop. I literally just have it in my planter back there. It's adorable. And in the same mushroom vein, okay, we have my mushroom ottoman from Target. They also have one from World Market and that one has storage in it, but I think it looks a little bit different. It looks a little bit more like structured, but I think the World Market one is slightly cheaper. So they're so cute. This one is like Sherpa boucle material and it's so nice. I have it under my desk and it makes everything look cozy and finished. You know, it has like this, this element where the bottom of the desk isn't just empty void and it's useful. Like there is a utilitarian purpose to it. Okay, it's not just a cute mushroom. I could put my feet up and I do. I, I literally have my foot on it now. Mushroom ottoman, check one out. The next thing, RGB lights, but in a specific, format. So I feel like when you think of like LED RGB lights, you think of like the strip ones that like, you know, you get as a teenager in your room and you have the RGB room and whatever. These are little RGB sticks and you can stand it so that it's like this way or it's this way. And you're asking, what do I need that for? Look at that. 
That right there, that is an RGB stick. And it creates the best ambiance ever. Look at the, look at that glow. This right here is an RGB like filming lamp. So we won't talk about her, okay? This is even nicer of a glow of ambiance. And you can change the lighting to whatever you want. You can change it to like a gradient of whatever lighting you want. You can customize it. They have an app. The ones I have are Govi, the brand Govi on Amazon or the Govi website. You can just custom, like the customization is insane. You can set like vibes for it. I think you can even like time it to music and stuff too. It's just so cool. And it connects to Alexa, Google. I'm thinking of adding more to my next bedroom. Definitely my next like filming room office. Technology these days. Ah kills me okay the next is very obvious okay it's cozy blankets one of my favorite cozy blankets is this one threads and thistles inventory this is specifically my collection i know a shameless plug i know this is specifically my collection with Alyssa, but she has a bunch of really nice blankets and another brand i really love is unhide so soft she would pee on mine i had to throw it away people will move into a new place and be like okay i got all my furniture i got all my stuff and they'll forget the little things they'll forget the little accessories they'll forget the little add-ons the little decorative pillows the little blankets and that's what really makes something visually feel cozy but also like you can really Really sink into your sofa you could really sink into your bed in the pillows put the blankets on like I have an entire stack back here of like of I think like five blankets and then I have another stack downstairs of like another five blankets I never want to be sitting down and be like I'm a little bit chilly oh well have to deal with it no no if I want to be peak cozy peak comfortable I have to have a blanket like probably at least two one for the legs one for the, over the shoulders okay heated blankets during the winter heated blankets in the cool cold months okay the next one is by another small company love this company the company is called the tiny protectors it started out as a self-defense item company like like stun gun they're like cute little mushrooms and little frogs and they're just adorable but now she's kind of branched out to stuffies to gaming chairs and most importantly lamps oh my gosh i love both of her lamps the one i got is a mushroom of course this is it i have it on my desk currently it's beautiful this the light is on so you can't even see all of the colors happening right now it is pricey it is a small business it is handcrafted hand designed so i think price is absolutely valid but i think little like whimsical cool things like this just add such a cozy fun element to a room to a home i'm gonna turn the light off and see if you can see the colors yeah there we go okay these are the colors look at that pink on top and then these are orange it's just so cool it, man it's so cool sometimes i just like search google for things that's how i found the connected goods mushroom doorstop is I was just searching Google for things and just stumbled across the small business website. Etsy, Google are your friends to find site that's like ethical. It's supporting somebody, a small business, you know? Okay, next. I don't know why I never, I don't think I ever officially talked about these. My bed pillows. Every single one of these pillows that you see on here is from Casa Luna from Target. The Casa Luna line at Target. These are the best pillows, throw pillows, mind you. These are the best pillows I've laid my head on. Like I never wanna just like lay back on throw pillows cause I feel like they're always kinda like stiff and like, eh, you know, they keep, they keep them real stiff. These, like I've fallen asleep on these accidentally because they're so soft. It's like they're, they're like made of clouds, just pillowy clouds. Oh my gosh, y'all, I love them so much. I love them so much. I've had this one for, I think over three years, the red ones. I've had them for over three years. I've wanted to like change the color palette of my entire bed so many times, but then I've been like, but then I have to get rid of the Casa Luna pillows. Every color that you could possibly match with your setup, they have them. It's so cozy. Just look at it. It's so cozy. You want to just dive into it. Also, I'll have everything linked. I'll have everything linked. You know I will. Okay, next is custom drinkware. I think custom drinkware is another one of those things that just like sparks joy in my daily life. In my daily routine, I wake up, I go downstairs, I open the cabinet to make my chai latte and seeing a fun cup that I've specifically picked out and bought from somewhere, it makes me so happy. It makes me unreasonably happy. Like it just starts my day off right. And even throughout the day, you know, lunchtime, dinner time, whatever, when I get to go and pick out my little cup that I've chosen and that has the exact aesthetic that I love, it just, it makes for a cozy day. It just does. I drank my greens in this. This, this is real. So don't look at the greens at the bottom. This 
is a perfect example. Okay, this was this one was sent to me. It's from Cheerwear, but Cheerwear has other ones that I will be purchasing. They have fall ones that I will be purchasing. It just makes me want to drink my greens. I'll tell you what, I don't like drinking my greens that much, but in this cup, okay, it's part of my routine. It's part of my routine and I love it. I'm happy about it. I just love a custom little cup at see, They have a ton. They have a lot of like ones with cute phrases and stuff. It's very, it's very live, laugh, love mom, but they have ones that are kind of cute. Also thrifted. I found some really, really fun, really cute thrifted ones that make me equally as happy. So, okay, next is candlesticks. Candlesticks, they're high maintenance. Candlesticks are high maintenance, but they make a room look so cozy. A lot of the times they don't even smell like anything. Okay, you can't even smell them. There's really no purpose except the look of them. When I light up our little candlesticks downstairs, the feeling's unmatched, okay? The people of old knew what they were doing. However, because actual candlesticks are high maintenance, I have fallen into liking and appreciating electric candlesticks. And I know, I know this is gonna be a divisive issue, okay? Some people are like, oh, electric candles, disgusting, but they're cute. Okay, and it gives the same mood, gives the same vibe without the cost of having to keep replacing them, without the emotional cost of having to clean up after them, without the quickness with which they burn. I'll show you my candlestick. That sounds like a euphemism. Here's my candlestick, let me turn it on. Oh, you can't even really see the light on it. Oh, you can't see the light, which is the coolest part because it flickers, so it really looks like it's burning. It looks like a burning flame from afar from afar, but it has a remote where it has different times. So it has like two hours, four hours, six hours, brighter or softer, um, that's it. Okay, candle holder, candlesticks, candlesticks, but specifically electric candlesticks or battery, whatever. My last item that's not a wishlist item because my last item is gonna be a wishlist item is a bird feeder. And listen, if you watch my vlogs, I got a bird feeder on a whim at Target, okay? It was a Target trip, you can't blame me. Not nary a bird has come to visit the bird feeder, okay? Not one, not a single bird. Maybe, maybe when I'm sleeping or something. I'm hopeful that in my next home in LA, I will have birds come visit the bird feeder. This recommendation is just for the general concept of a bird feeder, what a bird feeder could bring you, what I was hopeful for in buying the bird feeder. A lovely, you know, peek at the outdoors, bringing the outdoors in, if you will. And that's that, a bird feeder. I hope if y'all get bird feeders, you actually see birds. If you do, Send me pictures, okay? DM me pictures of your bird, <laughs> of your bird feeder so I can live vicariously through you. Oh my gosh, okay. My last recommendation is me also taking part in what I said at the beginning of this video is that we don't have to buy everything immediately. We can long for something. Longing is fun, yearning is fun sometimes. One of those things. For me, Reading Nook chair or a Reading Nook day bed. Now, Sixpenny has one. I remember seeing an Instagram reel and I was like, I need that, I need it, I need a Reading Nook right now. Sixpenny has one, it's pricey. Six pennies is like $2,300, pricey. Like I said, I understand. However, it's really nice. It's really nice and they have really nice fabrics also. I don't know though if I wanna splurge. I'm still deciding, I don't think so. I don't know. Joybird has one. It's like a, it's technically a day bed. And I think it's so perfect to cozy up on. It's so perfect to put it in a corner and go and game and read your book on. It just looks so cozy and I just really want a large piece of furniture that I can like get in my little gremlin stance and feel comfortable on it, you know what I mean? I wanna get in my little hunched gremlin stance, my legs up close to my body, and I wanna feel comfortable doing it. And they're all just a little bit pricey. The Joybird one is like $2,400 on sale. And they're a lot, okay, they're a lot. But yeah, I just think it makes it so cozy. I think it makes it so cozy. I, for one, will be testing the theory once I move into my new place. But that's, that's it, y'all, that is my list. I would like to keep bringing y'all my favorite cozy home favorites. My cozy home favorite, my favorite home cozy items. Favorite cozy home favorites. My cozy home favorites. But I'll see you in the next cozy favorites, cozy vlog, video, whatever. I'll have everything linked below and I'll have everything linked in my storefront in a QR code I'm putting on either one of these. Ooh. Ooh, either side. I love you. Stay cozy. Thank you so much for 100K. I love you. Bye.